I will be starting out with showing you a short film about the NTE. We are, as you once said, a regional energy company, and we view uh, the transition towards a greener economy as uh, both an opportunity and also some challenges regarding that. Um, so let's start with the film. My first uh, message to you today is that uh, sustainable solutions uh, does not have to be a problem. It has indeed been the business of NT for all times. So it's also a possible good business. We don't have to always choose between saving the environment and making economic progress. We can actually make sound, sustainable growth that is also based on, on market principles and business uh, opportunities. NT has been producing uh, renewable energy for almost 100 years, uh, and we are responsible for the grid uh, in our county, and we have been putting lots of uh, efforts into investing in new uh, renewable energy sources like wind, and we are now looking more and more into what can be the smart grid uh, investments for the future. The way we uh, make uh, our businesses will change, uh, and we focus especially on how to empower end customers, which will be uh, an even more active part of the energy system in the future. Um, we believe, of course, that the climate change uh, and the challenges regarding that will also affect the energy sector. This will uh, be uh, the driving force uh, for uh, a need for more renewable energy, and we think that's a good thing for us who, who are in that business. Uh, we see four major trends and challenges. The first one is that there will be an increased demand for renewables and also improved utilization uh, of existing resources and existing infrastructures. Um, that will be possible because we also see an improved communication technology that enables us to modernize the infrastructure uh, that is 100 years old, basically. Um, the third trend, which is very important, is that to, uh, to utilize resources in the future, we will also need to empower the end customers to take, to take more actively part uh, of that energy system. And uh, the fourth major trend is that we see new energy products and user patterns uh, emerging, and that will create new demands on the grid and on the energy system as, as such. Uh, one example, which was also mentioned earlier, uh, is the uh, evolution of uh, electrical vehicles, real cars, great cars with great performance that can uh, be something that people would like to buy and would like to use, and which, was, which also, of course, will make a lot of difference uh, in our uh, national energy uh, consumption. Uh, this is uh, a very large energy uh, market. Uh, and it's uh, the, the renewable energy share is, as you see, very low. But that can be uh, changed. Um, we also believe, as I said, uh, that we need to work closely together with end customers to realize the smart grid uh, opportunities. Um, and when we are putting telecommunication into the energy system, to make the energy system more intelligent, that infrastructure can also be used uh, to provide other services to uh, the customers. And we believe that that can happen in many ways, 
uh, and all kinds of services that can be provided to the end customers might be provided through uh, or in cooperation with us as an uh, energy company. Um, to navigate uh, in this landscape, we have done a couple of things. The first uh, strategic decision is to choose uh, the open innovation methods, uh, which is based on, um, on the situation where we have a lot of knowledge outside of our own organization that we need to uh, utilize. And there are lots of companies, lots of partners that we need to cooperate with in order to succeed uh, in this transition towards a green economy, towards a smarter grid, towards a much more intelligent energy system. We also see that we need to partner up with technology uh, uh, suppliers. We will not have the time nor the resources to develop all the technology ourselves. So we will be uh, cooperating with, with partners. And some of the business ideas will also be spun out uh, from NT if they are better off uh, outside our company. Uh, the other initiative is to establish uh, a, a learning pilot, Demostenger, which is uh, a living lab. We have customers participating actively in the development uh, of the new technologies, the new business models, the new product offerings that will make it possible for us to cooperate with the end customers in the energy system. This was launched uh, in 2011 in close cooperation with NTNU and the Norwegian Smart Grid Center, which is here. Uh, and you see the energy minister and the local mayor, they're all proud of this initiative. And they realize that it is important to start testing out and finding out what smart grid is going to be in Norway. Uh, but then there is a challenge that I want to leave uh, with you today, and hopefully you can come back and give me some answers on this one. Um, if you look at the power balance in this region, uh, this is the situation, uh, uh, the current situation with numbers from 2010, it's pretty much the same still, that we have uh, a consumption of about 21 terawatt hours, and we're only producing 14 of those uh, within the region. So we needed to import seven terawatt hours from outside the region. Now, being uh, a supplier of energy in a market with a much higher demand uh, than the supply is a good thing. So this is not the challenge. The challenge is this one. If we utilize the resources, as I mentioned earlier, we should be producing at least twice as much renewable energy in this region. This number is based on only what was applied for uh, towards the authorities, which are fairly uh, potential energy projects. But if we're going to double the production, you see the demand locally is not uh, high enough, and we will need to export about seven terawatt hours instead of importing seven terawatt hours. The numbers might not be accurate, but uh, the situation is that we will not be able to uh, invest in new energy production unless we figure out how to get those energy volumes to new markets. We might have a giant growth strategy for this region, or we might need to find some other places, uh, some other markets for that energy. So that is one of the real challenges for really utilizing the renewable resources globally, is to find ways to bring the product from the place where it's produced to the place that it's needed. And this region has a lot of energy resources, renewable, cost-efficient energy resources that should be uh, utilized uh, in other markets than just local markets. Okay, that's the challenge I would like to see you working on. Um, if you need more information, there is more to, uh, to learn about the 
the topic smart grids. It's a hot topic. It has lots of different dialects, lots of different uh, definitions. But the main thing is that we need to utilize our resources better. We need to make the energy system much more intelligent. Um, and that can be done. And that can also be done uh, as a good business opportunity. There is a Technoport talk that I've given, which is in English, and then there are some other uh, areas to, to read and to watch. Uh, for Norwegians, there is a fun video called Norsk Schlutström. You should definitely see it. It's uh, Harald Eja and some other guys that uh, have a good sense of humor. Uh, and we have websites, uh, both for Demosentier and for the Norwegian Smart Grid Center, that has more information of this topic. So I wish you uh, the very best for your uh, journey in, trans in the transition towards the green economy. I hope we can make that successful and also good business. Thank you. Thank you.